Shoulders back, heart forward, good posture. <laughs> hey, I'm Katie B. Happy, and this is a flow to engage a grounding space in yourself. Join us in this high energy flow, a nice 60 minute energy boost. We're gonna start in a seated meditation just like this in hero's pose. Close your eyes, sit up really tall. Then take a deep breath in and a slow breath out. Notice the cadence of your breath first. So every time you inhale, don't just breathe into your chest, breathe into your stomach. Feel it expand. And feel so powerful by this breath, it's gonna guide you the whole entire class. Taking on a mantra for yourself, an affirmation for this class, I am grounded, I am safe. I am enough. If any of those words spoke to you, take them on for your own or set a mindful intention here for yourself. Visualize how you want to feel at the end of the 60 minutes. See yourself already there. And then we'll take a collective inhale, lift your arms up and over your head, get big. Exhale to a downward facing dog, fly all the way back. Create an upside down V shape in your body and wiggle out your legs a little bit, bend your knees heavy, heavy, heavy. So all class I'll be guiding you and you can always watch my beautiful models for any help that you need. Leslie in the second row here will be giving variations to take it a little bit less intense today if that's what you're feeling or a little bit more intense will be the front row. From your downward facing dog, take a breath in and look forward. Bend your knees really heavy and exhale ragdoll pose at the top of the mat. Hang out with your feet hips width distance. Relax your face, head and neck. Awesome, and just like Caitlin, start to sway side to side. This is gonna relax out your low back muscles, your QL, and the more you bend your knees, the more relief you have in your low back. Bend so heavy that you feel a release in your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Then really mindfully put your hands on the ground. Walk your feet into touch. Roll up to standing mountain pose. Lift your arms skyward over your head. As you inhale, get big and broad through your chest. Exhale, chair pose, airplane arms. Sit down and fly your arms back behind you. So as you hold this pose, contract your triceps, spin your thumbs to face out so that your heart opens the whole time. Then sit low, 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 get long in your neck. The lower you sit in your chair, the more you're gonna tone your glutes. Standing back bend, inhale, big expression. Open your chest, pull your abs in to protect your back. Forward fold, reach down for your toes and bow. Hold here in your forward fold and grab hard behind your calf muscles. Pull your face to your knees. Just like Angela, as you fold a little bit deeper, feel that release. The second set of forward fold is the best set of forward fold. You get a little bit more length through your erector spinae muscles and your neck, it just relaxes, relaxes. Okay, let's breathe together. Halfway lift, inhale. Lift your head up in line with your butt. Contract your rhomboids, your back muscles together. Exhale, high plank pose, step all the way back. So activate your abs and core. You're always welcome to take to your knees in a plank position. And when you do that, kick your heels to your butt so that you feel your core activate. Keep your ribs locked into place and inhale, shift forward an inch. Exhale, halfway down, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Leslie will show you cobra. She goes down to the ground and lightens her hands. Lay her down to your stomach and lighten your hands off the ground. Perfect. Squeeze your back muscles together, keep your neck long. Wherever you are, keep your neck nice and long. Open your chest, relax your shoulders. Breathe in, exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome. We flow that two times. It's gonna build heat and intensity and open the front line of the body, your sagittal plane. Let's flow together, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of the mat. Halfway up, big breath in. Easy forward fold, big breath out. Then we stand up together powerfully, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose, airplane arms, squeeze the back of your body. Stand up, back bend, inhale, open your chest. Exhale, forward fold, reach for the ground. Halfway lift, inhale, head in line with your butt. Exhale, push up, put your hands on the ground, go halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, your choice. 
Roll back, downward facing dog all the way. Take a collective breath in. Collective breath out. Good, look forward, breathe in to the top of your mat and pick up your intensity. Come halfway up, inhale, head in line with butt. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, lift your arms up over your head, get tall. Chair pose, airplane arms, and sink into your power. Really beautiful. Inhale, back bend. I am. Forward fold, grounded. Inhale, halfway lift. I am. Exhale, chaturanga, safe. Inhale, upward facing dog. I am. Exhale, downward facing dog, enough. Good, lift your right leg up to the sky and shake some life into your hip. Make circular movements, circumduct from your hip joint. <laughs> Good, inhale nice and big. Exhale, knee to your nose and hold there. So you see Caitlin's upper back is rounded. It's like a cat pose. You round and point your right toe really hard. What if your knee could touch your face, your third eye, your nose? Aim for your eight pack to be that strong. Then re-extend your leg, big breath in. Push your left heel down towards the ground to stretch your Achilles. Exhale, low lunge, bring it through. Twisted low lunge, extend your right arm to the sky. So when you do this, level your hips. So much so that if the left hip drops, pull it back up in alignment and twist from your upper thoracic spine. Squeeze your back muscles together, engage your gaze up towards your fingers to tone your cervical muscles. Breath in. Exhale, pyramid stretch. Put your hands around your foot. For the first one, if you would love to shorten the distance in your feet to get more stability, you're welcome to do that so that your back heel touches the ground. Otherwise, you can keep them long to feel more length through the back line of your legs. Cascade your whole body down over your knee. And every time we get this opportunity to fold in class, you get an opportunity to breathe deeper, to reflect more. Inhale. Fold into it, exhale, so good. Inhale, crescent lunge, lift your arms up over your head. Position your right heel down really strong into the mat. And if you feel like you're sliding apart no matter where you are watching this video, imagine you're on roller skates. Hug your inner thighs together like the skates were trying to get apart but you won't let them. Deep breath in, engage your arms. Exhale, airplane your arms and hold. Remember what we practiced in that sun A flow? Thumbs out so your heart stays open and then squeeze your strong back muscles together. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Bend heavy into your right lunge. So as you do this, lighten your right toes. Push hard through your heel. Make it a side bend instead of a back bend. Reach out so that you lengthen your right side obliques and you contract your left side obliques. Big inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Take it down to the ground. It's a mini push up, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog, push it to the tops of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog, so good. Left leg up, open some space. So I'm gonna cue you this whole hour, but remember, every class is different for you. Where can you feel more? Where can it be more unique to you? You get to find it in motions like this. Breathe in, open your hip. Exhale, knee to your nose and hold. Come so far forward that the pads of your fingers push down into the ground and you feel the pressure in the peace finger knuckles. Your whole hand uses this. Re-extend your leg on a big breath in. Squeeze your left glute hard. Exhale, low lunge, bring it through. Again, it's a twisted low lunge. Lift your left arm up. We're getting that nice thoracic twist and as you get expansive through your top palm, imagine you are pushing into the side wall. Push, push, push through your left palm and rotate from your torso. Squeeze your back right quadricep muscles hard. Breathe in, exhale, pyramid pose. Bring your face to your knee. It doesn't matter how straight your leg is. All that matters is you feel a stretch in the back of your leg. As you cascade the whole body forward, see where you can slow down and surrender. The whole class, it really starts to pick up. So in these first moments, you ground and come into the practice. Leave everything outside of your mat that doesn't need to be here and stay empowered by your thoughts. Breathe in, low lunge to crescent lunge, lift your arms up over your head. So when we hold this powerful crescent, micro bend your back knee just slightly, inhale nice and deep, exhale airplane arms hold. Imagine you were already holding your strong weights. Get long through your neck like you could launch. Engage your back leg. Reverse warrior, inhale, pull out of your side body. Lengthen your left arm skyward. You can look up at it or lean so far back that it's work for your abs to pick you back up. Reach back, inhale, engage your back leg. 
Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Take your hands down. Upward facing dog, squeeze your abs. Roll back, downward facing dog. We get to flow that one time together. Deep breath in, lift your right leg high. Take your knee to your nose and use your abs when you do it. Inhale, re-extend your leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, twisted low lunge, right arm high to the sky. Exhale, pyramid pose, bring your face down to your knee. So good, Lara. Inhale, crescent, fire your arms up to the sky. Exhale, airplane your arms and pull your ribs in. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right arm up and back. Beautiful, exhale, chaturanga, take it down. Start to notice the flow of your breath. Match one posture with one breath. Downward facing dog, roll back. Lift your left leg, inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose and squeeze your eight pack. Re-extend, inhale, squeeze your left glute. Exhale, low lunge. Twisted low lunge, inhale, expand open to the left. Exhale, pyramid, face to your knee. Inhale, crescent, lift your arms up so strong above your head. Exhale, airplane your arms, squeeze and pull back. Beautiful, Ange. Reverse your warrior, inhale, pull back, bend deep. Exhale, chaturanga, hands down, I got you. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hell yeah, we get to add weights now. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, knee to your nose, squeeze it like you mean it. Inhale, re-extend your leg. Exhale, low lunge, bring it through. Grab a hold of your heavy set of weights. Put those weights on your shoulders, drop your back knee. Hold steady. We have 45 seconds of lunges. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze and lift your butt cheek. Get your balance up and down a few times. Breathe, breathe. Whenever you need a little bit more of a break, you're always welcome to drop to your back knee, but it's the beginning of class, so take it in your own stride. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Down, up. So if you've got a playlist that you wanna play at home, it's really nice to put on your favorite music to do this. Lighten your right toes. Good, pull your ribs in at the bottom. Lunges and squats are some of the best things that you personally can do for your abs. So notice at the bottom if you can hold everything in. Let's go four, let's go three, let's go two. Now stay in the fire of your right leg. Lean over, narrow back rows. Inhale, lower, exhale, pull. Lower, pull, squeeze your elbows behind you. Activate your good posture muscles. You can always drop to the knee in row as well, but stay active. We've got a good five minute Torso, chest back, and leg set. Keep going, breathe, pull and lower, awesome. Get high on the ball mount of your back foot so your front leg is burning out. Breathe in, breathe out, awesome. We've got four, good form, Kate, three, shoulders drop, two, and one step to the top of your mat, deadlifts, down for two, exhale, up for two, halfway down, so it's down, down and up, squeeze your glutes. As you do this deadlift motion, squeeze your glutes at the top and your abs at the top. Get a little bit of extension as you press your hips forward, activate your abs at the bottom. To modify, you can always bend your knees more, especially if you have tighter hamstrings, but take it so that you feel the action from the back line of your booty. There's a direct correlation to how low you go to how high you're gonna lift your butt cheek. Lifting the shelf of your butt cheek. And now we gotta take a check. If I were to put a tape recorder to your thoughts, or a voice note, would you love to hear them played back out loud right now? Check in with yourself, right? You're activating your adrenaline, your endorphins now starting to pump through your body. So this is up to you to take on this opportunity to be grounded, to be enough, and to be awesome for the rest of class. Let's do it, four more. Down for two, up for two, squeeze your back. Layer one, you can stay here. Layer two, give me an upright row at the top. Halfway down, upright row at the top. Down, two, up, row. Down, two, up, row. Nice, big exhale breath at the top. Four, three. Awesome, beautiful, wide arm push-ups. Put your weights at the top of your mat, get rid of them. Fingers off your mat if you have one. Down for two, up for two. It goes lower, lower, lift, lift. Halfway down, 
all the way up. You can always be on your knees. If you do that, kick your heels to your butt to activate your abs. Stay as slow as you can to start this, right? So we gotta activate our whole body. Lower down for two, and down for two, good. So it's up for two, down for two. Good pace, you have four more at this pace. Maybe you start to pick it up, but we're gonna double time it to singles when the beat drops. One more good one, down, two, up two, and now let's hit it. So it's down and up, down. This would be a great time, just like Caitlin, to be on your knees. What if your chest could hit the floor, right? Some of us don't have as far to travel as others. Let's go, let's go. Four. When you push up from the push up, activate your chest muscles. Three, two, hell yeah. Hop in guys, grab your heavy set of weights, awesome. Bend and grab them, we'll do some squats. Separate your feet a little wider than hips with toes out. Squat, stand, lower, lift. Drop your butt and squeeze your butt. When you do these squats, squeeze your butt cheek at the top. Get that double glute contraction to get the most out of it. Inhale lower, exhale power up. Awesome, nice Nancy, lighten your toes. So check down and make sure you can see your toes the whole entire time. Drop it at low, standing high. <laughs> Maybe you guys aren't having as much fun as we are, <laughs> but enjoy your breath, enjoy the power. Knowing that your body's alive right now, that's the best thing that we can do. We got four, three, Two, now hold and pulse at the bottom. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Can you drop your butt so low that you engage your glutes the whole time? Push your weights together to activate your chest. Pull your low abs in as you sit, 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 sit. We've got eight, seven, six. You could do it, lean back guys, you got it. Four, three, just eight singles with me. Let's go, sit and stand. Inhale lower, exhale lift. You gotta find that fatigue, you gotta find that burnout, right? Four, three, keep your toes light, two. Okay, good, let's do some cardio. Drop your weights, drop your weights. Awesome, cardio, start to heel tap. Heel tap left, heel tap right. Ah. So we've got three minutes to get you in the anaerobic state. We want your heart rate to explode. High BPMs, 180, 190, let's do it. Right, left, right, left. Tap it. If your mats or your weights are on your mat, make sure to put them off so that they're safe. Hit it, hit it. Awesome. Power your heels forward. That looks great, guys. So there's always the option to tap instead of jump. If you're not a jumper, no big deal. I want you to tap faster. Keep it up, 15 seconds. We never do exercises longer than 45 seconds to a minute in this set, in this whole class. So when you hear that final countdown, you give everything you got. We got four. We got three, jumping jacks to the right in two, jumping jacks to the right. Open, close, open, close, good. Get as long as you can in your body, open. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, clap your hands above your head and behind your back. Let's go to the beat, it's up, down, up, down. <laughs> yeah, cardio's fun, we got four, we got three, Two, take your left leg and kick it forward. Left high kick, left high kick. You can stay high kicking, or give me a high kick and a jumping jack. High kick, jumping jack, high kick, jumping jack. Ha, ha. Keep the intensity up for you. Open and close, power the leg. Always option to kick and step. Keep going, ha and open. Kick and open. You've got 15 seconds to rock this out. Four, three, two, let's burn it out. Just high kick, just high kick. Left, 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 left. Power that leg up. We got four, we got three. Changing legs in two. Heisman's left leg forward, pull your right knee in. Pull, pull. So when you're in a Heisman, stay as low as you can. Lighten your toes, pull your knee. The lower you stay, the more you're gonna tone your glutes. Pull, pull. When in doubt, when you feel like you don't know what's going on, just keep doing the motion. Good breath, how's that exhale? 
Let's hear a strength training open mouth exhale. Four, three, cross country skis. Right, left, right, left. You can always step. To finish this cardio section off, 30 seconds, final challenge. I want you in that I'm gonna puke zone. We've got stay where you are or switch lunge, switch lunge, switch, 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 switch. When you switch lunge, aim to touch your back knee, hop switch like an elevator, hop switch. Keep it up, put the weight in your back foot too. Last 15 seconds, don't stop. Can you find a breath that makes you feel powerful? You can go as slow as you need, but don't stop moving. I don't care if you go slow, don't stop moving. Four, three, two, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold and grab your heavy set of weights. Standing bicep curls, bend your knees to pick up the weights. Bicep curls, palms face open. Curl, open. Squeeze your elbows to your sides. Big exhale, micro bend your knees to activate your whole chain. So when you stand, you always want a power stance. Legs a little bent, legs active. Awesome, squeeze up and lower down. Find that breath, this is an active recovery, right? We're recovering from that cardio, but you're still moving your body. Four, three, nice Ange. Two, overhead triceps. So put the weights up over your head, Inhale, bend your elbows, straighten them. Lower and lift. If you have shoulder sensitivity, you can put them by your sides and do a tricep kickback instead. Notice my stance is staggered to protect my back. More challenging feet together, less challenging stagger stance. What's important to me is that your shoulders stay stacked right over or under your elbows. Lower, lift. Inhale, exhale. Activate through your ribs. You've got 15 seconds to rock this out. Keep going. Breathe. <laughs> Sweat better be pouring down your face, and if it's not, if it's not, then you're not working hard enough, right? Do the video a few more times. We got four, three, two. Stay with me, step your left foot back and tricep kick back. Put your palms flying back, just like we did in that Sun B series. It's a tricep kickback. Activate the back of your arms, squeeze them. If you want it harder, the weights stay at your hips and they go farther back. Hips, farther back, farther back. Awesome, look down at your right big toe. Four more just like this. Four, three, fire your arms back for two. Then you're gonna bend laterally into your left leg for a lateral lunge. Left leg bends, lateral lunge. Hold and bend. Good, breathe, stay here, same thing, tricep kickbacks. Kick back, straight. Bend and straighten your arms, but stay low in your lateral. A lateral lunge form is so important. Your knees always track the same direction as your toes. Drop your butt low, activate your inner thigh of the straight leg. Sit low, but pull your abs in, shoulders back. Keep breathing. Yeah, you guys got it, for four, three, Two, now just hold your lateral lunge and pulse. Stay low and pulse. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Stay low, stay low. Lift your right toes up to face the front of the room as you pulse. Yeah, like that, good, and Okay, four, three. Now push into your right foot, one-legged mountain pose facing the front. Give me a shoulder press as an option or you can take it out. Inhale, lateral lunge, left leg. Pivot and lift into your shoulder press. Lateral lunge, left leg. Pivot, lift into your shoulder press. Take it slow as you need it, right? This is about you finding balance and stability. If you'd prefer, take on one part of the exercise rather than two. Take on the first part, take on the second part, but find the one that makes you feel good. Awesome, stay low. <laughs> yeah, that's great, that's perfect. And Angie's giving you the different view. So you lateral lunge to press, and this is a great option if you don't want to pivot on your ankle if you have less joint stability. Four more, guys, breathe. Inhale, exhale, power it up. Awesome, inhale, exhale, power it up. So you gotta find that space inside of you where anything is possible. This is where you dig, right now. Okay, meet me at the top, just shoulder press. If you can, keep your left knee high. Let's go for eight. Lower, that's eight. 
Inhale, exhale. Keep your balance in your leg. By lifting your knee up, you're activating your low abs. Three, two, breathe, and one. Inhale, weights to chest, sit low. Exhale, forward fold. Reach the weights to the ground, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, take your push up, lower halfway. Inhale, upward dog and pause. So this is a nice upward dog for hip extension. Just get out of your hip flexion, open your chest, breath in. Roll back, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high, big breath in. Exhale, knee to your nose. You guys ready to do it on the other side? Yeah. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your weights. I don't know if that was real or just fake, but <laughs> grab your weights, let's lunge it. Five minutes for your legs and torso. Lower, lift. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your back glute. So as you push off your front heel, Activate your back leg as well and squeeze your glute at the top. Get the most you can from both of your legs. Awesome. You guys are looking great. Lighten your toes, keep breathing. So you get to pretend that you are with us in this classroom right now and you're feeding off the energy of all these athletes. Can you feel that vibration of these awesome people sending energy your way to work out with them? We've got four more lunges. Four, stay with it. Three, stay with it. Two, lean over wide back rows. So palms face the back of the room. Inhale, lower around your knee and exhale, squeeze back. Pull back and lower. Make a goal post with your arms. Activate your front leg. You'll wanna put weight in your toes, but don't let it happen. Activate what's called Pada Bandha. It's a foot lock. The weight goes in your heel and the ball mound of your foot. Power it down, you got this. Four more, inhale. Exhale, that's four. That's three, nice form, Nancy. Two, step to the top of your mat, deadlift. So it's down for two. Exhale, upright row. Halfway down, exhale, upright row. When you do this upright row, squeeze your back muscles together, lift your elbows a little higher than your wrists. Halfway down, activate your butt, pull your abs in. Exhale, lift. <laughs> I want you to imagine you're showing the floor, your butt, and your boobs at the same time, and then stand up and squeeze them, okay? Keep going, you've got it, about eight more. This is one of the best things you can do for the back line of your body. Lightening your toes, awesome, Kara. Keep your knees tracked the same direction as your toes. Sometimes, beautiful, breathe in. Pull it back, give me one more, it's your best one. Last set of wide arm push-ups. Option with or without the weights, this time with the weights, inhale, push up, exhale, wide back row at the top. Inhale, push up, exhale, wide back row at the top. More stability, widen your legs or drop to your knees. The wider your legs are, the more stable your base becomes. Pull, squeeze. Pull, squeeze. You're on your own, you've got 15 seconds. So team, this is your last set of push-ups all day. Can I get a hell yeah? yeah. <laughs> Wide arm push-ups are activating your chest, pec minor, back muscles, defining where your arms connect to your bra line, if you're wearing one. Four, <laughs> three, two. Everyone on your knees, pulse at the bottom. Pulse, drop your chest, pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze it back, squeeze it back. <laughs> Pull and pulse at the bottom. Eight, seven. That pulse and that contraction, it's gonna activate so much of your abs. Two and one, come all the way up, downward dog. Step your feet behind your weights. Last set of squats, grab a hold of your weights, let's squat it. Dip, knee twist, dip, knee twist. Drop your butt as low as your knees. Twist and engage. As you lift, activate your abs. Twist from your torso, lower and squeeze twist. When you do this, feel so active in your core at the bottom, twist from your center at the top. Drive up. Yeah, nice depth, Derek. Sit low, twist hard. Four more, so it's a sit, twist, sit, twist. <laughs> Last one's the best one, we pulse at the bottom. Pulse, pulse. Always option to let go of your weights, or be a badass, put the weights on your legs and hold a little lower. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, breathe. You gotta use your air. 
Put those weights down, let's cardio burst. Haha. <laughs> Second and last set of that dance party. Start with a slow tap. Slow tap forward, slow tap forward. Ha, ha. Inhale your arms over your head. Let's get some oxygen. Exhale, hands by your sides. Okay, three minutes to get in that anaerobic state. Let's do it. Tap, tap. Heels down, heels down. Toe tap. Stay for here or option for butt kicks. Pretend you were running. Actually make contact heel to butt. Make that contact with your booty. You'll tone and shape the back of your legs. Keep it up. Stay, or we're gonna add a little high with the hands. Walk to the back of your mat. It goes up, two, three, four, booty bounce back. Up, two, three, four, booty bounce back. Touch your butt, touch your butt. Bounce, 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 bounce. Ha, ha, bounce, bounce, bounce. Stay with this cadence. Let yourself feel really explosive with the movements. Get low, get low, and then fire those arms up. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Again, so it's up, up, up. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Again, up. <laughs> you got it. Bounce. We're turning in four. In three. Jumping jacks to your left. Four, three, two, one, let's hit it go. Open, close, open, close, open, close. When you jumping jack, I want you to power your heels into the ground. Heels down, heels down. Be light on your toes. Get your hands to clap above your head and behind your back. Head, back, head, back. Keep a tempo that's challenging for you. Don't let your body stop, you got it. Eight, seven, six. You guys know it's coming. We're high kicking to the front of the room. Ready, set, right high kick. Right high kick. Dun, 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 dun. Lift, lift, lift. Right high kick. Lift it, lift it. Send that energy forward. Layer one, you stay with the kick. Layer two, give me a jumping jack. Jack, right kick. Jack, right kick. Jack, right kick. Send your breath to the spaces that feel tired. Let your breath energize every part of you. That's your power. Keep breathing, you can do it. Four, come on models, three. Let's go, two. Just high kick the right leg. Right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg. You can take out the hop if you need. Heisman, left knee pulls. Right leg forward. Stay low and lighten the gripping of your right toes. How low can you stay? Nice, squeeze it. Open your chest even though you're staying low. Nice, Chelsea, get low. Get low, get low. Beautiful, breathe. Four, three. Cross-country skis, last set. Right, left, right, left. <laughs> open up your body in a way so that you can open your breath. We are gonna finish, grand finale, how we started this cardio set. Keep going for four, for three, for two, butt kicks forward, go. Kick, 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 bounce. Now you can stay here or give me a double time, looks like this. Two heels, two heels, push, push, double, double, push, push, double, double, push, push. You have 15 seconds, keep it up. How high can you jump? How fast can you jump? Breathe, don't give up now, you got it. Four, three, <laughs> two, <laughs> inhale, mountain pose. Walk off, and if you're someone working out with you, give them a high five. If not, energetic high five. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's take on our last standing weighted set. Inhale your arms up, get your breath. Exhale, fold, grab your weights. Bend your knees, just grab for standing hammer curls. Exhale, curl up. Squeeze your elbows to your sides. Activate your ribs the whole time. So notice, your breath got away from you, that's a good thing. That's when the fat burn happens, right? Optimal fat burn in the body. Anaerobic state, depriving your body of oxygen, that's what we want. We go up, down, fluctuation for that beautiful space where you can not only burn fat, but you get a stronger heart, and that's what really matters. Your heart gets stronger. Let's go four, three, two. Overhead tricep, last set. Put those weights up, bend and straight. This is your last set, it's a bicep tricep set. We're gonna do a lateral lunge to finish this all off. 
Let me see everything you got. We got four. If you got stuff left in your gas tank, take it. Two. Now reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Reverse lunge and curl. Reverse lunge and curl. Drop it and stand. Drop it and stand. You can take on a curl that makes you happy. Hammer curl, it's gonna strengthen the dimension of your brachial radialis, your forearm muscle. If you go a little wider, we're gonna get more of the inside of your bicep, long head, short head, two parts. So you get to decide. Last set of lunges all day. This is a space where you personally get to power up your energy. Let's go for four. Let's go for three. Let's go for two. Bend into a lateral lunge in your right leg and tricep kickback with your weights. Same thing we did on the other side, we're just switching the lateral lunge. So you get so low in that lateral, good. Just like Angela, you're gonna fly those weights past your hips. Good job, Ange. Sit low and breathe. Okay, stay here, keep going, but point your left toes forward. This is key to the transition. Stay low, squeeze your butt, activate your left inner thigh. Don't give it up right now. We got four, we've got three, We've got two, pivoting on your toes, lift, balance, and press. Go back to your right leg bent in a lateral lunge. Lift, pivot, and press. Toning and defining your delts, your shoulder pad muscle. As you lift, balance, you can always tap your toe down and come back up. It's building that one-legged stability, working in the transverse plane as we rotate, just be mindful that your knee always tracks the same direction as your toes. You are in the final 60 seconds of our workout on your feet. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. That's it, that's it. How low can you sit in that lateral lunge? Drop it low, power the weights high. Inhale, down, down, down. Power the weights high. We got four, we got three, we got two. Hold at the top and just shoulder press. Hold your right leg high. Exhale on the way up. Think about your breath as a rocket ship. Ha, inhale lower, exhale ha. Send your abs in on that ha. Let every exhale be like a crunch in your abs. Four, three, two. Tap your toes down, bend your knees, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Squat, tuck, curl, and drop to your booty. Ha. Okay, you need one weight for our chest. Leg set. Grab a hold of your right weight. Roll all the way down to your back. Take the right weight in your right hand. Left foot to the sky. Left hand behind your head. Inhale, open to a chest fly. Micro bend your right elbow. Exhale, lift and tap your foot. Inhale, open chest fly. Exhale, lift and tap your foot. Every time you do this, get higher. If you've got tailbone sensitivity, just stay low and crunch. Otherwise, extend, lift, and reach for the pinky toe. What if you could reach past your pinky toe every time? Getting higher to challenge yourself. You've got about 30 more seconds here, so just breathe into your power. You're on your back, the hardest part of your feet is over. Now we just get to work on glutes, chest, and abs. Inhale lower, fire it all the way up, awesome. You've given everything you've gotten this whole time. Give it 100%, I want you to empty your gas tank. Everything you got left, put it right here because I promise you will feel refilled by the end of this. This is where you start to dig, let's do it. We go for four, three, two. Now just hold it at the top and pulse to tap your foot. Pulse and aim to tap that pinky toe. Outer edge, lift, lift, so good, so good. We got four, a little bit higher. Three, a little bit higher. Two, take that one weight in a lat pullover with bridge. Hips up, bridge pose, inhale, lat pullover. Exhale, lift the weight to your pelvis. Lower your hips a little bit. Bridge with lat pullover, weight to your hips. Lower your butt and lift that weight. Find some beautiful strength and stability in your pelvis. Squeeze your glutes, but pull your abs in when you do this. Don't let it be too much of a back bend. Strengthen through your whole body. Good, keep your head on the ground the whole time. Lighten your toes, just your butt moves. Keep your head on the ground the whole time. Yeah, good. Nice height, Caitlin. Fire your glutes up to the sky. 
Awesome height right now. You got four. We got three, two. Now just hold this last one at the top. Put the weight over your chest and pulse your pelvis. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Feel your glutes activate. Pull your low abs in and just squeeze and tighten. There's a direct correlation to how hard you squeeze your glutes to how high your butt cheek will actually lift. Let's do it. Eight, seven, can you go a little bit higher? Woo, four. We're doing chest press on the other side. Put the weight in your left hand, inhale lower. Tap your right foot, same thing, other side. Lower and lift. So you're the only one that you cheat if you're cheating on this, right? It's not me, it's not any of my awesome models, it's just about you. So where do you wanna find power? Where can you give 100%? If you wanna start this whole section over again, you're welcome to. If you're like, wait a second, I didn't really give it my all, do that. Take the space for you to give 100% in everything you do. Your best is all that matters. I am grounded, I am safe, I am enough. We're in it. Last four. Can you get higher? When you get higher, you shred your ribs. Three, two, last one, last one. Hold to the top and pulse it. Outer pinky toe. Lift and touch me, lift and touch me. Don't give up. Outer, outer, outer. Come on. Higher, higher, Trina, higher. Eight, seven, six. Breathe, outer right pinky toe. Four, three, two, and one. Get rid of your weight. Take a butterfly position, so your legs go in a butterfly, hands behind your head for crunches. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, butterfly crunch. Let's go, up and lower, up. So there's a tendency for you to ne turkey neck your neck, so it's like leading with your neck. Avoid turkey necking, pretend you were holding an orange. Lead from your chest and lower down. Watch my chest, it goes up and down, up and down. You can hover your shoulders off the mat. You know you're doing this when your shoulders are actually hovering off the mat, the blades of your shoulders the whole time. That's where you want to stay. Awesome. Push your low back down, elbows stay wide. Keep your elbows out of your peripheral. Four, three, we're gonna hold at the top and pulse in two. Now hold at the top, pulse. Aim for your shoulders to stay off of the mat. So get as high as you can, Push into your feet if you want this harder. Hover your feet two inches off the ground. Push them together. Hover your feet, hover your feet. Thank you, front row. <laughs> They're like, no, we're not taking the harder options. <laughs> Lift, keep breathing, you have eight more pulses. Eight, seven, don't stop, you guys got this. Breathe, four, three, two, reverse crunch. Inhale lower, lift your tailbone off the ground. Inhale lower, lift your tailbone off the ground. So now we're shredding your transverse abdominis, that wrap around your back, then that low V shape. The reverse crunch, you go down and all the way up. If you'd like to add to that crunch position, hands behind your head, drop your heels, exhale double crunch, tailbone up, shoulders up. Inhale lower, tailbone and shoulders. Tailbone and shoulders. Tailbone and shoulders. You pick your intensity today, because every day it's different, right? That's the best part about doing stuff like this. You get to see and engage where you were the last time you did this and where you are right now. Where are you feeling powerful? Focus on that space. There's a part of you that is unstoppable, but you gotta tap into it. And that's what high energy yoga, that's what this kind of workout helps you tap into. Four, three, two, now hold and pulse at the top. Let's go, Derek, pulse, pulse. Tailbone up, tailbone up, tailbone up. You're doing it right. Tailbone up, tailbone up. Yeah, awesome. Push into your upper back so you can lift your pelvis higher off the ground. Keep going. Four, higher. Three, higher. Two, last one. Let's do a hamstring crunch. Grab a hold of your right leg like you're doing a split on the sky. Hold there. Roll up and stretch. Now notice, when you roll up, your shoulders are rolled high off the mat because you're holding on to your calf muscle. Pull, lift, point your toes. Two inhales and then we switch. So it's inhale, inhale, switch, inhale, inhale, switch, inhale, inhale, switch. Stay rolled up the whole time. How high can you stay in this elevation? So that in that C curve, you're shredding your eight pack. Stay low. Good, keep crawling up your calf muscle. Can you get higher up your calf muscle? 
Every time, what if you grabbed your ankle instead? Keep crawling, crawling, crawling. Lift and reach. Lift and reach, shredding your eight pack. Let's do it. You got 15 more seconds. Breathe. How high can you travel? Nice chest. Keep going up your leg. Up your leg. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Ha. <laughs> Grounded in sync. That sensation, that's change happening in your body. We got four. We've got three. A little higher, Lara. Two. Now yogi bicycles. It's left, right, left, right. Keep your shoulders off the mat. We're in the final 60 seconds. That's it. Do not stop. This is the moment to show up. Don't give up, show up 100%. Keep rotating side to side. Ha, ha. Rotate and twist from your center. You've got this, do not stop. Good, Trina. Lighten your neck, 30 seconds. Layer one, you stay. Layer two, give me a double time, double time. Let's go. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Can you double time the pace of your legs? This is for you, it's for nobody else but you. Give everything you got. Let's go eight. Seven, do it and stand for yourself. Four, three, two, full body stretch. <laughs> Good. Big breath in, big breath out. Fantastic work today, guys. Let's stretch. Come up to a seat. Breathe in. Cross your left ankle over your right for a seated twist. Now, if you have open hips and no knee sensitivity, you can tuck your right foot back. Otherwise, leave it straight. Lift your right arm high, breath in. Exhale, revolve all the way to the side. Get tall in your spine, inhale. Use that arm to exhale and twist, twist, twist. Awesome, breathe in, breathe out. Listen for the transition. You'll spin to your right, plant your left foot on the ground and it's a modified side plank. Push into your foot, look up at your left hand. Just a nice hip release, a beautiful rotation in your left hip, big inhale to the back of the room, downward facing dog, exhale. Lift your left leg high, breathe in. Half pigeon as you breathe out. Bring your knee forward and create a seven shape in your body. So your left hip drops, your foot tucks, lift your chest, and gently, gently bow forward. If this is intense on your hip or your knee, remember you're supposed to feel it only in your hip, not your knee. If you do, just gently roll onto your back and you put your left ankle up on top of your right quad and you hold behind your leg. It's the same sensation. It's so good to release low back tension. And just taking these last few moments of class to really hone in on the strength that you built. Are you feeling more grounded in your body? Are you grateful to be on the ground? Are you feeling safer where you are? Are you feeling more enough? Breathe in. Just relax into the mat as you breathe out. Good. I'll show you just like on Caitlin's body. Your toes, they point straight back so that you get that ankle flexibility. Your left hip pulls forward, or excuse me, left hip pulls back and your right hip pulls forward so that your hips are on an even level, right? You wanna feel that piriformis stretch. Let your whole neck and head relax. If you have low back tension, do this pose every single day. Good, okay, crawl back to your palms, friends. Lift your left leg back to the sky. Listen mindfully for the transition. So inhale, shake open your hip. If you wanna do any fancy footwork like a flip dog, you're welcome. You stay with an open hip, or you can take it up and over and give me a little back bend. Then re-extend your left leg, inhale. Send it through and drop your left butt cheek, you'll meet me in what's called seated side stretch. Right toes up, left foot down, Johnny Shoshasana, and reach your left arm for your front foot. Awesome. As you do this, activate your side ab muscles, just like we did in Reverse Warrior. It's such a nice counter stretch for the lunging and squatting that we did. Look up over your left shoulder, breathe in. Twist and rotate your gaze under your left shoulder as you breathe out. Feel all that flexibility as you drive your left hip down. Good, rise gently to a seat and let's mindfully just do the whole thing on the other side. So swivel to the front. Now bend your right leg. Lift your left arm high, inhale. Seated twist. And as you do this, get really tall in your posture. Breathe in. Rotate your gaze over your right shoulder. Breathe out. Abs tight, inhale. Revolve, exhale where your gaze goes, where your eyes goes, your neck and your body follow, so look farther back. 
Awesome, and taking on that counter stretch, rotate to the left, plant your right foot and lift into a side plank. Squeeze your back muscles together, push off your right foot, put your right hand on the ground, lift your right leg to the sky. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, half pigeon, pull your right leg through. Lift your chest and very mindfully find that same pose that you found on the other side. We're so lucky to have the ability to work out like this, to have the health and the fitness to find that kind of intensity, that your body's strong and it allows you to have that kind of intensity. So in these last moments of class, it's just about a six minute cool down. Where can you find a space where you can be grateful, where you can come out of that stress response, right? Cortisol has been pumping through your body this whole session. And you come into a space where your parasympathetic nervous system takes over. You drive your left hip forward and your right hip back to feel a little bit more sensation. Make sure your back ankle's straight. Breathe in. Breathe out. Awesome. Extend mindfully your left leg to the sky. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Open some space in your hip or take that same, the right leg, yep, up and over. <laughs> Did I say the right leg? My bad. Right leg up and over, and then take that awesome big extension if you chose to. It's such a great stretch for your hips. Big breath in, rewind, downward dog, lift your right leg back up, take your knee across your body, drop your right butt cheek, and take seated side stretch. Left toes spin up, so you'll have to fix the ankle, good, and then you lean towards your front foot. So as you make this lean sensation, drive your right hip down more, Create space for you. Stretching is so important at the end of class so that you get space to slow down your thoughts, so that you get space to slow down your body. And then that stress response, which sometimes can be the cause of weight gain. It was a healthy stress this time. It comes out of your system, your blood pressure starts to drop, your heart rate drops. And here we get to be in a space where we're reflective and grateful. Pivot to the front of your mat, send your feet forward, and roll all the way down to your back. Last pose before Shavasana is happy baby. So imagine you're a baby first discovering your feet for the very first time, and you're just tickling your toes. If your toes aren't accessible, grab your ankles, right? Will you show them, Ange? Grab your ankles. Exactly. You can tug your ankles or your calf muscles down. What's important to me is that your low back's in the ground, then rock side to side. What that does is send tension or pressure into your QL and right behind them where your kidneys are. So we get all this good grounding nature, energy sent to the kidney area. This also opens the low back from squatting. So pull your knees into your chest and give yourself a really big, well-deserved hug. Big breath in. Best pose of class, Shavasana, corpse pose. Open into what would be a corpse, right? You lay on your mat. I will guide you for the first 90 seconds of this pose, but you are so welcome to come out of it, stay in it longer. My hope though is that you stay with me for 90 seconds to really feel that healing effect, <sighs> to feel that relaxation and centering effect. I want you to visualize that you're on your favorite pool floaty and you're just relaxing so easy in the center of your favorite body of water. And then think about your toes. They gently start to dangle in the cool blue water. Your palms, they go wide and they start to tickle the water. And you're held safe by this pool floaty. There's a dental sway, and you feel the sun beat really easy on your face. Just the perfect amount of sun. And then in this space where you're held, you are perfect and you are enough. Just stay here with me for a few moments in stillness.
please stay here longer, at least another minute or so if you have the space and time to just re-energize and visualize how you want the rest of your day to go. If not, you can make your way up to a seat and meet me with your hands at your heart. Press your thumbs into your chest. Remember when we started class in that seated meditation and you visualized how you wanted to feel at the end of the 60 minutes. Just tap in and see right now if you've achieved it. It's completely in your control to bring that forth into your life, strength, energy for the rest of your day. Now take this energy you feel and share it with the world. Bow your head towards your heart. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for joining us today, guys. Let's give each other a big round of applause, yeah? Oh, yeah. High five, high five. Keep working out, keep your adrenaline high, and let's see you in the next video.